decent. Did look good. These are supposed to be open for condensation drain off when you open the lid. Well, what do you got, Bondo? It was, no, it was all seam sealer. Oh. They loaded it with seam sealer. So the water can't get out. These are for the water that when you lift the lid up, the condensation's on the inside, it's supposed to dry up out here into the channel. Mm. Both sides will be filled in with the seam sealer. We're gonna get these open back up. That way the water can drain out like it's supposed to. This thing ain't bad. I just gotta clean out that channel. Seems to be seam sealer. I don't see any rot here. Metal looks pretty damn good, but it looks like when they folded the lip on, there was a chunk of seam sealer here. Uh -huh. This looked good up here. This whole strip, remember how this was all bumpy and shit? Uh -huh. It was all seam sealer. Metal's good. So we just put on sloppy like this. This is sloppy. Yeah. You know, so we got to make this look pretty. Well, so this is how they seamed it on. Mm -hmm. What we'll do is polish it off and give it a nice B to C. So the way it's supposed to be nice, neat, taped off, clean. You know, that's the way it's supposed to be done. That's not the way it was done. Though. That looks like it's clean, huh? Looks good. Clean, huh? Looks good. I mean, you know, it's fine. Just for because I mean, there's like this is a lump of seam sealer or something. And yeah, I, think, I think it's rusted inside. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I don't feel rust here. It's oh, solid. So why is it's like just a, a lump of a sealer that got on there when they flattened it. Hmm. So we gotta soften this up, get that piece out, and then tinker that back in. I think we're fine. I mean, it's solid. It's solid. Really solid. Yeah. I was yeah. like, man. They filled up the, you know, the drain holes in the back here. Huh? You know these drain holes here? Yeah. For when you lift the lid up, let's they, they filled them up, right? They were full of seam Yeah, seal. Them, uh, the, this one, this guy, the same thing too, you know. Why? I don't know. That's and they are, they are original. The things drain And they are original from the manufacturer, you know. I know. I don't understand why. They, why, they you know? loaded it with seam yeah, no seal. Yeah, they loaded it up with the... The design for draining off, you know. Not creating more cut out like here put a whole new piece in
Yeah. Once you get it stripped to the metal, you gotta protect the metal because this is raw metal. And what I mean by raw metal, if you look right here, those are fingerprints from us grabbing it yesterday. That's the moisture in our hand fingers it's gonna, if you leave that, that'll continue and then that'll be a rust bubble. Obviously it's not gonna happen in two weeks, but it might happen in two years, two months. If somebody get out of their car nine months later and they see it flaking up and bubbling, that's because of stuff like this. So the painstaking process now is for red to go over the whole frame, double check, make sure everything, all of the, the gooey situations is out so we have good, you know, paint it here just when we prime it and everything because we basically put both frames in etching primer to avoid this. Now, once we sand all that down, put it in etching primer, now we can handle it. Now we can touch it and it's, you don't have to worry about the rust spots coming on. So it's not just a simple process. Go get it, sand it, and then do your thing to it. You got to prepare it or once you make it pretty, it's going to come back to bite you because you're gonna, it's going to bubble up. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a lot of work that goes into it. What's up, bro?